Security vision shows a minibus approaching the main entrance of Karachi University's Confucius Institute. A woman stands nearby dressed in black and wearing a backpack. A suicide bomber who detonates just metres from the bus. Officials have confirmed she was a teacher who had enrolled for a master's degree at the university and carried out the attack on behalf of the Balak Liberation Army. The separatists have long opposed Chinese investment in Pakistan and the Confucius Institute has played a key role in promoting soft diplomacy between the two allies. One Pakistani is among the dead, the driver of the van. The other three were Chinese, the director of the Confucius Institute and two staff. A guard and another Chinese citizen were also wounded. The deputy director of China's foreign ministry did not hold back. China expresses its strong condemnation and great indignation at this major terrorist attack. China will continue to urge Pakistan to deal with the aftermath and the treatment of the injured and resolutely fight against terrorist organizations involved in the case. After weeks of political turmoil, the violence poses yet another challenge for Pakistan's freshly installed government. During a visit to the Chinese embassy in Islamabad, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif expressed his condolences and promised swift action. We will hunt down these perpetrators, culprits, killers, and we will not rest until we have caught them and given them exemplary punishment. For decades, the BLA have been fighting for a greater share of natural resources in Balochistan. The province, which borders Afghanistan and Iran, is home to several infrastructure projects as part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. In recent years, they've attacked Chinese projects and workers and are now warning of more violence to come. Manny Tsigas, ABC News.